Hello everyone, my name is Adredden, and today we are doing the last vehicle in my tutorial series on vehicles. Today we are doing the propeller driven mining hat. No, wait, wait, that's not right. The gyrocopter. All right, so we come over here and we can hop in. Now this thing is a little mm, not intuitive to fly. Uh, pressing the ASWD keys, we can see that uh, It'll start to kind of lift off a little bit every now and then if it hits a jump. Uh, but basically, you're just going to be scooting around the ground doing nothing. First thing you do is press the space bar, even just a little bit. Now, the effect of this is actually a little bit different than some of the other vehicles. What happens with this vehicle is you can see these this little tail assembly here. When you press the space bar, it doesn't show, but it actually changes the angle of that horizontal little wing which means that you sort of lift your nose, it's called pitching up. And you just have to do it a little bit to get some flight. Now, okay, the next things we need to know is if you're flying into a building right now, is to, oh, we need to pitch back up. We need to press the A or D key, that will turn us left or right. And of course, forward is the W. Now, if you stop pressing the W key whilst in flight, you'll basically stall the forward motion of this thing and then you'll just auto gyro down which can be bad so what often happens with people who are flying this thing me included the first time i ever tried it was that i'm like okay space is go up right you go up in creative mode and all kinds of different modes by pressing the space key but if you keep doing that with this particular vehicle what ends up happening is you pitch up the nose so much that you stall out and you basically fall out of the sky, especially because you keep doing it because you're trying to go up and you're just like, why am I not going up? What's going on? Um, if you let go of that, you might get some forward momentum, but you're better off to press the C key. Oh, we took some damage there. If you somehow get the tail jammed into the ground, uh, press the... E key, wherever the collider thingamajig is. Pick the thing up and just put it back down on the ground. Now, the best practices with these things are to build some kind of runway or some such thing. Once again, doing slight turns like this will cause your vehicle to kind of lift up off the ground, the friction will be reduced, and you'll kind of start flying in weird random directions. Let's try to land the thing. You still want to press forward, but you want to sort of just tap it a bit and you probably want to just do a little bit of the C key it is not entirely an easy thing to do uh, there we go see alright guys so here we go with the gyrocopter radial menu you hold down the E key once you're looking at your gyrocopter this here opens up everything for your gyrocopter. You can see the durability, the speed, how much defense, noise, etc, etc, with any kind of modifiers in it. Not yet, but hopefully in Alpha 20, we'll see. And then again, you can see the drive. This will just pop you right in the driver's seat there. Well, I'm just gonna hop out, holding that down. Next we have repair, but this one is fine, so it's not gonna do much. So you would just use a repair kit for that down here on the repair. Uh, you can lock it if you want so that nobody else can use it. And then if you wanted someone to use it, you could put in a password, 1234. Don't use that one, that's a silly, silly password. But um, yeah, then it's locked, so anybody who has that passcode then could go 1234 and submit. Unlocks it. And uh, then you can unlock it, which will then make it so that anyone can use it again. Take, we'll put it into your inventory, and then you can put it back down again. Holding this down again, you can see the horn. It's got the same horn as every other vehicle. And then the storage. It has a really decent storage. You can fill a lot of stuff in there, considering you're flying around with it, so it is quite nice. Things not to do while you are flying a gyrocopter are press the E key. Because you fall, and it can suck. Real bad. And add insult to injury. It will just smush you. <laughs> if it does happen, 
then basically you just need to, you know, go back to where you were and get your stuff. If you ask yourself, eh, why do I even need a jackcopter? Why should I risk pressing the E key? Well, some of the simple ones are that, you know, it, it may not be super fast, but in the distance you can see that there's another city. And what this basically allows you to do is bypass all the terrain and all the obstacles. In this example, it's not really that great. There's a road that pretty much goes directly to that far off snow city, and uh, it's not too problematic. But it is a pretty easy way to get around. Now, you may be just continuing to go up. Yeah, that's an example of where you just need to press the C key a little bit. You just need to keep adjusting whether you have the C key or the space key, where those have set your angle for your gyrocopter. Yeah, and then you can just sort of come on down and try to land it. So that's the basic control system for this whole thing. Like a glove. Okay guys, so let's figure out how to build this thing. I've got a couple of things stashed over here in this filing cabinet. These are the things that you're going to pretty much need to make it. We have ourselves a gyrocopter chassis and we have a gyrocopter accessories schematic. So you're going to need to find these guys if you decide not to buy the skills themselves, which are, you'd need to go all the way up to intelligence level 10 just to be able to get the grease monkey level five to be able to get the knowledge to build the gyrocopter. So just because I want to make this a bit more generic, we're just going to have these guys here. Okay, so to actually make the gyrocopter here, what we're going to do is just take a quick look at this recipe and then we're going to go through and actually make it and then we'll finish. How to make the gyrocopter. Looking at the recipe, looks like we're going to have to get these items here. Uh, looks like I forgot some wheels, but I mean, wheels are easy to get, um, but we'll go into making some wheels too. So one of the ingredients you can see is the gyrocopter chassis. So of course that's this schematic here. And for that, you're going to need to get yourself a bunch of forged steel, a lot of mechanical parts, some duct tape, some leather, a fair bit of leather actually electrical parts and then you can craft that in the workbench the gyrocopter accessories a bunch of different little things uh, electrical parts some headlights short iron pipes mechanical parts springs so once again breaking down cars is going to be a big part of getting all these pieces and of course you're going to need to do some hunting and some forging to get those guys so now we'll just use these so that we just know how to have this to find them you're probably going to want to go and find a bunch of these passing gas boxes or various bookstores, cracker books, basically any, anything that has to do with cars. You'll basically you'll find a box of the passing gas stuff in places like that. Okay, let's go get some parts. I need to get a wrench and a bow. Okay, so you're gonna wanna find yourselves a bunch of cars. You're gonna wanna start ripping them apart and that way you can get all these different components. Get some you know stuff you can turn into steel as well, which is nice and efficient. But you're gonna have to watch out for the zombies. There's one coming for me right now. And as you can see, you start to get some of the useful things from these guys pretty easily. Um, you know, get yourself a motor. Eventually, you'll get yourself a battery. And I think I'll, I'll show you that in a sec here. Yeah, you can even find some of the leather from some of these upper level cars. Like if they're at this level, you'll sometimes get leather out of them. So that's useful. There's one. Uh, and a battery. Taking apart about 15 cars seems to have got me a pretty close to what I need here for parts. But we are going to need to take apart more lights and such. So just keep on going until you have a bunch of them. So to top off your electrical parts, you're probably going to have to rip apart some of these various lights and such. Lights and TVs. Coolers also have some. Cash registers as well. Electrical components from all these dungeon uh, lights. To get some extra mechanical parts, you can also take apart shopping carts. And some of these office chairs also have mechanical parts in them. Mechanical parts from exercise equipment. Filing cabinets as well. The next we're gonna have to find some kind of animal to get some leather. Animals are good because you can also get some bones out of them, and you're gonna need bones for duct tape. So there we go. And then of course you just go up and harvest them, and you get the bones and the leather. So you're gonna need a fair few. And of course, taking apart leather couches like this, also a good way to get leather. Stopping off at gore blocks is another excellent way to get some bone. We're going to need some coal and some iron. Coal for the wheels, iron for the chassis, and accessories. This guy here can also give us a little bit of coal just by going... 
right? We get a little bit uh, each time, plus a little bit of fuel, so that's kind of useful. Uh, then, yeah, this is the coal node, if you don't know. I've got a tutorial on where the different uh, ores are in the world, so you can take a look at that if you want. And here is the iron that you are going to need, and these veins will both go underground. At least probably 10-ish blocks. Sometimes they connect up with other ones, uh, most of the time, usually, in fact. Okay, well, I'm going to harvest these and then get back to making things. All right, guys, when you finally get back and get all your stuff sorted out, then you can start to craft everything up here. And there's a couple more things that I probably need to go show you. Uh, but I mean, at this point, you're making a gyrocopter. You probably know a lot of these things. I don't have the steel yet because I am still going with my forge here. And it's going to take a lot. I mean, it takes a ton to make a gyrocopter. First off, I need to make more short pipes as well, but that can be done here and we need 187 forged steel. So that's a ton of iron. So you're gonna have to be mining that for a little bit. Or I mean, if you, by this point, maybe you've stocked up enough from dismantling like a thousand cars or something, who knows? Short iron pipe, you know, just takes 12 iron, six clay. So yeah, we just craft a bunch of those. I mean, I don't know. I, if I was in a game, I'd probably just have a bunch around, but I'm just gonna arbitrarily make that many. Yeah, see, I'll, need, I'll still need to make a couple more. Forged steel, uh, if you don't, know how to use a forge by this point um, and you're just watching this early because you saw it uh, that's fine um, you can check out my tutorial on the forge I've got a quick version and a more in-depth version but basically you're gonna need the crucible to make steel and so we need like a lot of steel like 187 so I don't even think I can make that many no but I'm just gonna start with this right now um, this is just an example. I'll probably just pull some out of the creative menu for you. We're also going to need a lot of duct tape. A lot of duct tape. 37. I've used a lot of mine in the other tutorials. And you can see here that it needs cloth fragments and glue. So we're going to need 37 cloth fragments. I've got enough. Just not on me. So then we're going to just look up the glue. Uh, it's much better to make it in the chemistry station. But I mean, if you don't have one, I guess at this point you probably will. But you have your murky water and your bones. So we have a lot of bones. And then glue more efficient by two to make them in the chemistry station. So let's actually go over there for a change. I do have a tutorial on the chemistry station. Okay, well, I'm going to find um, all the bones and whatnot that I can and make 37 of them. All right, guys, once you have your 37 glue made, you need to make that duct tape. So we just get our cloth wherever you have it. You hit craft, that takes about a minute. Eventually you'll get all the forged steel that you need. And then we can proceed with building. This is uh, basically what everything here looks like at this point. Um, so that I have everything for the wheels. And then this stuff here makes up the gyrocopter accessories and the gyrocopter chassis. Okay, so from here, we're going to go over to our workbench. And we can now work on these guys. Go gyro. So these are going to take a couple moments. So as you can see, we have 49 electrical parts, 8 headlights, 75 iron pipes, uh, mechanical parts, and springs. All right, so let's craft this guy up. And now we just wait about five minutes. In the meantime, you can walk away from that and I don't know, stare off into the sky. And at the same time, build yourself three tires. As the gyro requires uno, dos, tres tires. If you're just kind of catching this before you really get into the game, you can also check out my tutorial on the workbench. It goes over all the different aspects of building it and uh, using it. All right, it also works out well to have a second workbench so that you can also do the other parts down in a second one. It just makes, you know, the process quicker. I mean, if you've got time, like who cares? But I mean, workbenches are cheap and workbenches also allow you to make a lot of ammo while you kind of, uh, you know, as you're progressing through the game. And after a while, they will finally get done. So right now we're in the lower workbench, so we're gonna grab the gyrocopter chassis. We've got our tires right here. So one, two, three tires. Go back upstairs, check this workbench, and boom, here's our accessories. So now we can make our gyrocopter. And it has to be done in the workbench. This is where you need your motor and your lead battery. So now you have the five components right there. Craft, another five minute wait. And we finally have our gyrocopter. Come here, you. Boop. Alrighty, so let's hop down and place this sucker. Woo, yeah, let's go. Alright, you have no gas. <laughs> you can never forget to put your gas in, right? So, I've got some gas on me. Let's just use those radial 
commands that we all saw earlier. Gas. And finally, we are good to go. So, once again, you just press forward to go forward. It does go back a little ways, uh, you know, if you were to press backwards. But, instead what we're going to do is we get a little bit of forward momentum and then use our little space key and yeah, we're off. Go explore the world now, or avoid the horde <laughs> if you must. Uh, but, you know, try to be prepared for that. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share with someone who you think will find it interesting. And with that, that concludes all the vehicles that are in the vanilla game. From here it comes down to talking more about blocks and zombies, and I can certainly make more content related to that stuff. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to learn more about 7 Days to Die, hit that subscribe button. And also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you in another video. Bye-bye!